Do you have a feeling someone likes you? Maybe you've been on a few dates with your crush, but you can't tell if you're reading their signals right. Do they like you or not? Well, according to research, there are a few common signs. Here are some psychological signs to help you recognize when someone really likes you. Number one, that awkward moment when... A 2020 research study published in the journal Adaptive Human Behavior and Physiology wanted to look at perceived nervous reaction. When someone first meets with someone they find attractive, the researchers documented their 280 study participants' retrospective self-reports and found that basically they were nervous wrecks most of the time, along with blushing, giggling, and an increased heart rate. The study states that both sexes reported speaking faster and being less able to express themselves clearly. And women reported using a higher pitch and having a more unsteady tone of voice during an initial encounter of attraction. What's also interesting is that the researchers asked the participants to rate the reactions of others around them to see if they would view nervous behavior as a sign someone was attracted to them. According to the study, participants reported observing similar nervous reactions by others whom they perceived were attracted to them. Let's go back to all those memories of you around your crush, someone you really, really liked. Were you extremely nervous? Even if you were trying to hide it, I bet you may have acted a bit awkward at times. I'm right, aren't I? If you notice someone's behavior strangely shifts when they notice you, this could be a sign you make them nervous. Why? Attraction. So if you notice they're stumbling over their words or get lost in your dreamy eyes, they were probably just unprepared for how amazingly attractive you are. And consequently, act a bit awkward only when they're around you. Number two, forced smile versus giddy and genuine smile. Maybe they aren't just awkward but they become a bit giddy when they see you. When you see them next, pay close attention to how often they smile and what kind of smile they have on their face. There are a few common facial expressions that could give way to what someone is really thinking or feeling. A Duchenne smile is one of them. Want to know if someone is genuinely smiling in delight? You can simply look out for this smile. According to Healthline, this occurs when the zygomaticus major muscle lifts the corners of your mouth at the same time the orbicularis oculi muscle lifts your cheeks and crinkles your eyes at the corners. Basically, it's the type of smile that reaches up to your eyes, causing those wrinkles by your eyes known as crow's feet to appear. This type of smile appears when someone is genuinely happy, as opposed to a polite and kind smile, or even a forced smile. If you notice they suddenly have a genuine and giddy smile when you approach, it could mean they really like you. Now, do they like you as a friend or as someone more? Watch out for that nervous awkwardness as well. Number three, what do they say when they're busy? Have you asked this particular person out if you have, good for you. What did they say? Did they mention that they were busy at times? If they left it at a, I'm sorry, I'm busy. It could be that they just aren't feeling it romantically. Or maybe they are indeed really busy, but if they mentioned another time they're available to hang out, this is a good sign that they may like you. Sometimes people simply say they're busy so as not to hurt someone's feelings. Ask them when they're free. If they aren't quite sure and don't follow up with you, it's a pretty clear sign that they're not into you romantically. But if they give you a time and date to reschedule, there's a fair chance that they may like you. Do you like them? Number four, their voice changes around you. So you notice someone talking casually with their friends. Their voice appears to be normal, but then you approach the group and suddenly their voice changes. Language and speak researcher, Dr. Marina Kalashnikova from the University of Western Sydney told ABC Radio Melbourne's Lindsay Burns that the voices of the two people who are speaking to each other, if they are attracted to each other, or if they experience positive emotions towards each other. They start becoming more similar, she explains. This could mean they even start to mimic you or their pitch may change if they like you. She further explains that changes in the pitch of our voice or the rate of our speech, so how fast we're speaking, are happening according to how we feel about the conversation, but without our conscious control. Number five, their pupils do what? You have a hunch this person really likes you and so far you've noticed a few signs but a subtle sign to watch out for is if their pupils dilate when they look at you. One 2016 study published in the journal Evolution and Human Behavior found that pupil size can determine sexual interest. Looking at the results from their study participants, the study concluded that, consistent with the notion that pupil dilation is a reliable cue to sexual arousal, sexually interested faces contained objectively larger and darker pupils than did sexually disinterested faces. And according to body language expert, Patty Wood, author of Success Signals, a guide to reading body language, dilation is a brain response that occurs when you like and are attracted to something. 
Hmm, so if you notice someone's pupils dilate when they look deeply into your eyes mid-conversation, this could likely be a sign that they're attracted to you. Their eyes are just really excited to see you. The good thing is, if your pupils dilate in attraction as well, it's a great thing to be revealed. Perhaps you're both a match made in heaven. And number six, something has changed. Hmm, you notice your crush talking with a group of friends. You've seen how they talk to other acquaintances as well, but you notice they tend to noticeably change their vocabulary and manner only around you. Perhaps you even notice them hugging you a bit longer than their other friends. According to Dr. Jeremy Nicholson, doctor of social and personality psychology, in an article for Psychology Today, when someone is attracted to you, they will likely find some excuse to touch you more and will be more receptive to your touch as well. They may even increase their touching over time, going from friendly handshakes to more intimate embraces. Or maybe you notice their behavior simply changes only around you. This plays into how people tend to mimic another's subtle gestures and behavior if they like them, including changing their expressions. Dr. Marina Kalashnikova further explains that we would use more similar expressions, for example, to sound more alike. She explains that this can sometimes happen fast over a conversation. So do you notice someone unconsciously changes the way they speak? All because they're simply in awe of you? Or are they just really nervous around you again? It can be difficult to tell if someone likes you at first, but hey, if you watch out for these signs and all goes well, it may be a sign that you should ask them out already. That is, if your pupils dilate around them. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend. If you notice any of these behavioral signs of attraction in someone, feel free to comment down below. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.